We now learn about the rule for multiplication of powers of numbers. If we have a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n, then that will equal to a to the power of m plus n. And I'll just go ahead and box that result, and you'll definitely want to make a note of this if you don't know this already. A quick example of this, I'll just write example 1 here, could be the following. Say we have to simplify 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 5. Then using this rule, we can state that this equals to 2 to the power of 3 plus 5, and that equals to 2 to the power of 8. Another example could be to simplify the following p raised to the power of 4 times p raised to the power of 3. Then using this rule, we can state that this equals to p raised to the power of 4 plus 3. Finally, that's equal to p raised to the power of 7. And so that's the rule for multiplication of powers of numbers when the base of the two numbers is the same. Indeed, we had a raised to a power times a raised to a power. When the base is different on the hand, things change a little bit. If we have a raised to the power of m times b raised to the power of n, then that is simply equal to itself, meaning that's equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of n. And I'll go ahead and box that result. Now, although this result seems simple, it is nonetheless very important. For example, if we were asked to simplify 2 times 3 to the power of 4. Well, looking at this, we notice that we have a 3 raised to the power of 4, so the base here is 3, and here we have a 2. But although we don't write it, when we write 2 on its own, that means 2 to the power of 1. And so what this rule is telling us is that we cannot simplify this further and that this simply equals to 2 times 3 to the power of 4. We could, of course, calculate the actual value, but there is no rule allowing us to multiply the base 2 with the base 3. Another example of where this rule comes in handy is the following. Let's say we were asked to simplify 3p to the power of 2 times 4q to the power of 4 times p to the power of 5. Well, to simplify this, the first thing worth pointing out is that all of the terms here are being multiplied. And since multiplication is commutative, which means that we can change the order in which the terms are written, we can go ahead and start by rewriting this as 3 times 4 times p to the power of 2 times p to the power of 5 times q to the power of 4. All I've done there is write the two numbers 3 and 4 side by side in the multiplication, as well as the like terms p to the power of 2 and p to the power of 5 next to each other in the multiplication. And that makes simplification easier. Indeed, we have 3 times 4, which is 12, so I'll just write that, that's 12, times p to the power of 2 times p to the power of 5, which using the rule we've learnt is p to the power of 2 plus 5, times q to the power of 4. That's equal to 12 times p to the power of 7 times q to the power of 4. And finally, that's equal to 12p to the power of 7 times q to the power of 4. And what this rule tells us is that we must stop here. We cannot go any further. In particular, we cannot multiply these two bases p and q, and we cannot do anything with their respective exponents. We cannot add the power of 7 to the power of 4, nor do we multiply them. This rule tells us that this is as far as we can go in the simplification. I'll finish this tutorial by highlighting one special case of this product. If we have a to the power of m times b to the power of m, in other words, we're dealing with powers of different bases, a and b, but the power to which each of them is raised is the same. Then in this case, this will equal to, in parentheses, a times b raised to the power of m. And I'll just go ahead and box that result. Here's a quick example. Say we have to simplify or even calculate 2 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 3. 
Now we notice that we're dealing with a different base. We're dealing with base 2 and base 5, but each of these is raised to the same power, 3 and 3. So using this rule, we can go ahead and state that this equals to, in parentheses, 2 times 5, all of which is raised to the power of 3. That's therefore equal to 10 raised to the power of 3, and if we had to calculate it, we could state that that's equal to 1,000. We'll be seeing more about this special case when we learn about powers of powers in just a couple more tutorials. Nevertheless, do make a note of this now, because it's often very, very useful for simplifying expressions. For now, though, that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that helped, and if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel, because that really does help us. I'll see you soon.